Was there ever a time where you had the feeling that you wanted to do something? There was like a certain task you had to accomplish, right? And then, you know, the urge of like you're lying down on bed, you're just thinking about that task that you have to do. And then you just, you know, you just put it off for later because, you know, you can do it later, you know, and then just, you know, do it with some other tasks that you want to do. And then you forget about it. Yeah, that's what we're going to be talking about. I'm Josh V. Castro, you gorgeous, beautiful, handsome, wonderful person, you. Hopefully, you guys are having a wonderful day. And in this hashtag Project 9 Minute video, we're going to be talking about the two-minute rule and how it in, how it ties in with the laziness. All right. So, yeah, we are now on day 17, I believe. Yeah, day 17 of the 30-day challenge for this project that I started 17 days ago, apparently. And, yeah, so... Yeah, you know, yesterday's video, we talked about the two-day rule, and now we're going to talk about the two-minute rule, all right? I, I I honestly forgot who coined this yesterday. Yes, it was Matt Devella who coined the two-day rule. So in this video, it's a two-minute rule. So whoever thought of this, this rule, all right, kudos to you. So basically, right, there's a thing that you want to do. Say you want to get water, all right? You're drink, you want to drink water. Right, you're thirsty, but you're not that thirsty. But you know that drinking water is good for you. And, you know, you're just, you know, you're, you're watching Netflix. You know, it's on the top of your mind. Like, I, I need to, I need, I need my daily dose of H2O, right? That's a, that's a thing that you, that your body needs, you know, eight glasses of water at least. And then you're on your second for the day. And, you know, it's, it's just over there, you know, in the refrigerator waiting for you to be consumed. Or maybe you have to you know, get water from the faucet or from a dispenser or whichever means you get your water from, then drinking water, right? The healthy, the healthy kind. Then, and then you don't do it because, you know, it's just, it's just, it's something that's not urgent and you, but you know, it's good for you, but you're doing something better. You know, something else is grabbing your attention, grabbing your time and you know this is something that maybe you could just put off for later and then later never comes like i said in the beginning of this video so yeah and then that's where the two minute rule comes in so like this is like a, a tool or a habit or uh, a thought process or a thought project that you can actually apply in your daily life in, in how you live life and how you perceive things and how you do things all right so basically the premise of this is if this task this this thing that you have to do will take you less than two minutes to do, or at two minutes max, all right? This is, if this is something that takes two minutes, like walk, getting up, walking to the refrigerator, getting your glass of water, if that just takes two minutes, then yeah. Don't think about it. Don't, don't overthink, all right? Just do it, all right? You know, Nike it. Just go for it and then see what happens from there. Then, you know, your body will be happy. Well, your body will thank you. You got to drink water, Yes, there's probably better examples about this. I'm like brushing your teeth. All right, maybe brushing your teeth may take longer than two minutes, but the act of going from your studio, your office, your living room, your kitchen, to the bathroom, to wherever you brush your teeth, that might take two minutes. And then, you know, just that process will kickstart your habit of actually brushing your teeth i actually just thought of a good idea um another video idea all right we're gonna do that in the next one it's it's about key habits that will actually trigger other habits and you know i will talk about that tomorrow if i don't remember then i'm sorry if we i did if i do decide to think about a better subject for tomorrow then that's gonna be the case yeah but anyway in this video like i said that's a two minute rule. So yeah, if there's a there's a thing in your life or there's things in your life that you can apply to yourself, you know, to make you uh, a really, a, you know, just to make you more control, you know, to get more control over your day throughout the day to make sure it's as efficient as possible. And, you know, it's good for you, all right, as long as it's it benefits you, even though there's an urgency, like, then just do it. Like, what's, what's a good... What's another good example for the two minute rule? Uh, so say there is a what is what is it? What I don't know. All right, I don't know what else. All right, so yeah, off the top of my mind, there there's there's no other examples. Just water and brushing your teeth, basically. So 
Yeah, take this with a grain of salt. It, but it, in my head, it makes sense, and I'm trying my best to to share it with you guys to provide value so that you know you'll live your life, you live your day, you more efficiently, more better, more, you know, at when you when you're when you when you're at the end of the day. You know, when you're living at the end of the day, I'm like, when you wake up at the end of the day, that just doesn't make sense. But when you're at the end of your day, you're going to think to yourself, oh, this was a good and productive day. All right. I accomplished a lot of stuff. And, you know, even if it's the mundane things that take less than two minutes, you accomplished and, you know, you feel better about yourself. And then that, you know, by itself will compound. I like saying the word compound because it's a thing that actually will happen. Things will compound. Things will you know, gradually get better as you continuously do something for a certain period of time. And then, you know, as you apply this, the two-minute rule will no longer just be... I'm like, it's not a hard rule that it has to be two minutes. It could be a three-minute rule, a four-minute rule, five-minute rule. But, you know, there's probably a study that, you know, if there's something that you can do within two minutes, then might as well just do it. And then there's probably a study that if it's longer than two minutes, then you could probably put that off for later. And then you could, you know, there's also... a probably another sort of understanding that you can prioritize certain tasks certain things that you can do throughout the day you know with priority like okay this has more urgency so i should do this first or i should accomplish this first versus things that you don't have to accomplish immediately but yet will benefit you throughout the day in the long run so you know you could keep that in mind if you want but yeah, so yeah, like I said, it's not it's not a hard fact, you know, you have to follow, but it's a it's a concept, it's an idea that you can think about. All right? So yeah, the next time you're th- you're thinking of doing something and then you just don't feel like doing it. All right, think to yourself, all right, so if I do this task, right? If I do this task, will it take me will, will it take me less than 2 minutes? Will it take me a, 2 minutes max to do this task? If the answer is yes, then do it. All right? If the answer is no, then keep thinking about it. <laughs> just keep thinking about it, and then you know if 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 it's if it's just too too complex of a thing to to do. If it takes two minutes and one second, all right, or probably three minutes or five minutes. Uh, two minutes and one second. That's just still two minutes. Anyway, uh, if it's that complex to do, then you know just continue whatever you're doing. You know, watching Netflix, reading a book. Or being entertained by some other means of entertainment or attaining knowledge because knowledge is power and that's the thing that you're doing right right perfect so yeah so you know his to to, to his or her own uh but you know as long as you know with this knowledge that i've given to you you can actually apply it in your life maybe hopefully and you know might make you a better person all right a better person, more productive, more efficient, more happy, more fulfilled, and empowered at the end of the day, throughout the day, as you live your life and as you continue living and doing things. And, you know, who knows? All right, this this concept will, will affect others in your surrounding because, you know, there's a thing that Jordan Peterson said that if you can get your household in order, or like even if you're the only person that is doing something right, that will influence them to change for the better. And we all want that, right? So, yeah, this is going to be the nine-minute video. Hopefully, you guys did find value out of this and did enjoy. Remember, guys, we're on day 17. We're, we're 13 more days away from finishing this challenge. So, hopefully, you guys did enjoy, you beautiful, handsome person. And I will see you in the next one.